Jonquil Jones in the middle. Natalie Achanwa for Indiana as we are closing in on the opening tip here from Bankers Live Fieldhouse. Connecticut has the third-ranked offense, the fourth-ranked defense in the WNBA. Jonquil Jones tees up a three and has an early one. Candace Dupree is seven points shy of sixth all-time. Weaves her way inside. Oh, there's the mark there's John Quell Jones with the rebound, the league's leading rebounder at over 10 per game. She set a record a couple of years ago on the glass. And an early, you may remember the name if you're a Hoosier basketball fan. He coached the women's team at IU for some point time. shooter this year at well, right around 40%. Mitchell off the screen, gets inside. Mitchell offs it in out of Maryland. This is Jasmine. Turns the corner. Jasmine right to the rim. Has a more typical bruising type of big. That's not John Quell Jones's game as Achanwa steps in, comes up with a steal. Jones back. Achanwa takes it in and lays it in. Alyssa Thomas into Jones. That fadeaway jump shot is so effective. And John Jones gives chase to Wheeler, finds an open Candace Dupree. Back on a three. Thomas goes coast to coast. Mitchell didn't pick her up, and Thomas lays it in for here tonight. Chanwa meets Jones, tries to go around her, and the left-handed finish. John Thomas going at McCowan. Oh, the athletic finish. Bantam steps into a long two. Holmes on the rebound and the putback. Holmes' shot was off the mark, but she was able to get it back. Now Tuck bowling over and scoring. Adam Marquette. That's the point guard guarding Erica Wheeler. Mitchell the bounce, Dupree will fire and hit another. It is representative of how well that group played, and you're starting to see some players get some minutes here tonight because of it as Williams beat made Mitchell. Indiana just six shots so far tonight in 13 minutes. Williams probing, finds Jones who lays it in for two more. Wheeler finds some space and connects. This shooting 41% from the three-point line. Over 10 points a game as Williams maneuvers in and lays it in for two. The bounce back to Jones who dips inside for two more. John Quill. Not a bad looking shot for Indiana Mitchell. More than capable of hitting that. Mitchell went down hard. Williams takes it to the rack. Indiana looking to pick up the pace here. Laney too far underneath. Back for Dupree. And there it is. Candace Dupree. Typical Candace Dupree type bucket as well. They want to try to. Take her advantage in the post. Thomas glides in, two more. 18 assists per game. But at every position, there's a player more than capable of finding the open member as Kelsey. Jones will post up a Chanwa. Shot clock down to six. Jones, the fadeaway. That'll go. Jones is. Mitchell shook off a defender. The baseline jump shot. She's got two. It's between the clocks. Thomas weaves inside, got to the lane, and laid it in. Jasmine Thomas was Robin to John Quill Jones' Batman. Here's a Strickland three, and it goes. Wheeler steps into a two, and Wheeler gets the roll. Sending a Chanwa. Laney. And Benaja Laney. She felt like she was held. Strickland darts in, had it deflected, and there is a Chanwa. John will fakes the three, got right by Jones. Oh, a collision! A John with a finish. You won't see a better finish than this one. And credit Candace Dupree, who caught the center. Been a bit gimpy as well. She chases John Quell Jones around. Here is Jones, and right on cue. Schiller's bunch looking to respond to a 9-0 Indiana run. Jones straight away. She's got it. For that first three-point bucket. Strickland. She's got it. And that three-point. Jones looking underneath. That pass never found its target. Mitchell this time will fake the three. Get to the rim. And Kelsey Mitchell right finished to double digits as quickly as the Fever were able to trim it. Jones. Oh, she's got two more. Jones. Corner three. Strickland was defended well, but she's got Thomas tries to turn the corner, leaves it back. Here's Strickland, who's been lethal in the third. So has Jones, and she's got another John run by the Sparks in the third quarter on Friday. A 17-2 run right now for Connecticut. 
And they add to it. McCowan, good position. She turns, swatted by Jones. Mitchell got Bantam into the air, found her spot at the free throw line and rolled it in there to control. Indiana's got to get something going here. And they've got to do it early to even have a chance as Dupree hooks one in. Holmes one a two from the line, an offensive rebound. Jones is two more. Laney got around Holmes, the fadeaway jump shot. She'll roll it in. And Holmes the other way, and it's swatted out of there by Dupree. Thomas working on the bigger McCowan. McCowan deflects the shot. Mitchell on. Jones got to the rim. Point deficit if the Fever can string together some more stops here. Tough look from Williams. Oh, she got the rattle. 15, but have gotten no closer. Mitchell, the pull up. Mitchell gets the roll. Mitchell with four. Got it blocked by Jones. Connecticut forcing lots of tough looks. Lady. Indiana has not made a three-point shot on the night. A Chanwa, no. McCowan, yes, on the putback. Here tonight, but positively for the Fever, this team does not quit. That might put Nail. One of the best nights of her WNBA career. Her career high came in this building as well. Thomas steps into a three. That goes. Laney steps into a two. Try to avoid an 0 for night from the three-point line. Their worst game ever as Tuck hits another. Oh, the Mitchell, will it end here? No. Laney the rebound. Laney the putback. And Indiana is going to match their worst three-point shooting night in franchise history. 0 of 15. Morgan Tuck, who averages three a game. Well, there, Kelsey Mitchell will have one more look at a three, and it falls off target. So 0 of 16 from the three-point line is how the Fever end this one. And the Connecticut Sun, who use a 20-2 run in the third quarter, have a 13-point win.